So we're now driving uh, to a rest stop after having an interaction with the police. Um, what ultimately happened was the police claimed to be investigating a crime, which they said was spray paint or vandalism at the police station. Now we chalked the police station, but we did not use spray paint. What I think they thought that was was this new chalk shit we had. Shaking vigorously for 30 vigorously. seconds. Yeah, what do you guys got there? We have this is this is new stuff. Liquid chalk or a chalk marker. Oh. Yes. Oh, it tastes awful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it didn't hurt harm you. No, I haven't no. died yet. I I can still feel my mouth. We're good. All right. Not yes. toxic and safe we for are, children. Uh, on the Mobilesville native, and we're headed to uh, Chocolate Chip Park. But. What I'm most disappointed about in the interaction is that I had to give him my ID. And I felt that because of the, the property involved, Mac, the car, and the trailer. But overall, um, you know, a, a demo gave up his ID, I gave up my ID. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, looking back, I'm like a demo had, you know, his, uh, his concerns about the property, Mac, and the car, and the trailer. But. Looking back, it seems like if that was really the only concern, then there was no actual reason for me to give my idea. I did so just sort of out of, uh, just like, I'd rather not fucking have to deal with a bunch of bullshit in the morning than uh, full on 100% resist. In hindsight, I think giving up the ID was the better choice because had we not given up the ID, they could have, you know, legally arrested us and detained us for that because they were investigating a crime. I don't still think that's right because the crime they were investigating wasn't an actual crime to me. But anyways, um, but giving your ID to a cop like isn't uh, doesn't make you bad cop blocker. Doesn't make you bad at resisting the police state. Um, and on occasion, like tonight, it can actually make things easier for you. Even whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, uh, you know, the system runs its course. I think they were just doing that as a, a scare tactic. Like, they wanted to know who we were, you know, and uh, nothing more. Maybe to intimidate us to get out of town because they did mention that Walmart doesn't let us sleep there, which we did confirm, and which is ultimately why we're leaving. So, <coughs> first day on the road, four or five cops fucking surround back, first fucking night, and uh, <coughs> we find one of the few, I believe, Walmarts. Maybe they're more popular in different areas, but most by highways and shit seem to let you sleep there. But, uh, first night gets off to a bang. Dirty and you need someone to cover your back, you need a good cop. So where they at?